Hello, everyone, and in the words of Charlotte the Spider, salutations. Isn't this lighthouse casket beautiful? However, today's video is not intended to showcase this casket. I'm only using this one in particular to talk about sealer caskets. The lighthouse casket is a sealer casket. And what gives it away is this thin rubber trim that runs along the inner margin of the casket as opposed to this casket above it, which is not sealer and does not have a rubber trim around the inner margins of the casket. And it seems the public and most everyone outside of the funeral business anyway I talked to have been tricked in believing that these sealer caskets offer some sort of protection that non-sealer caskets do not. And of course, as funeral directors, we thrive on the public's ignorance on what they believe a sealer casket offers. And of course, um, if you were to look up, say, the Federal Trade Commission's rule, uh, sealer caskets are designed to protect the casket, not the body. In fact, sealer caskets increase the rate of body decomposition. And if a casket is to be entombed in a mausoleum, or a crypt, the cemetery will actually break the rubber seal to prevent accelerated decomposition. The funeral rule also forbids claims that sealer caskets can preserve a body forever, but that doesn't stop a lot of funeral directors from milking this idea for all it's worth. And just like a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, if any part of this rubber gasket is torn, erodes or is damaged in any way, this casket will no longer be considered a sealer casket. So think about this next time you plan to spend a lot more money on a sealer casket. Is it worth the extra charge? Do you really want your loved one to decompose faster in exchange for the illusion that bugs may be deterred from entering? Well, at least as long as this rubber piece holds up. 